Welcome to Seabrew Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Securing your internet router. Um, this isn't just for the Philippines, by the way. Uh, this pretty much goes wherever you are. Um, it was, I think it was last month I remotely logged into my router in Spain. Oh no, it wasn't. I went back. I was I was actually in Spain. Um, and I'd actually found that somebody deactivated the the password to the router. Um, not only that, there was 11 devices attached. We had the entire neighborhood using it. Because obviously it had been set up with the company that supplied the router. Because when I originally got it, I couldn't find the password for it. Um, it was very difficult to use. But having a slow internet made me it prompted me to do something about it and then i reconfigured everything we named it changed the ips made it hidden etc it's a pain to do initially but it's worth doing um, but also if you give passwords out change them regularly um, i'll give you an example i give my router password out for birthday parties etc one of the neighbors will get hold of it somewhere and within a couple of weeks every neighbor's got it and you can find like 20 30 people attached to it from mobile phones to laptops um have they asked you no because it was for one night for the party <laughs> so yeah secure your router because people just use it and abuse it um but also they might get access to your system because for example i have um cloud drives which um, are actually connected to my local network because internet wise you can connect to it um, but you've got to log in password etc on the local Wi-Fi though you can go straight into it with no security whatsoever um, so be aware lock your router down because it may create a lot of problems if you don't thanks for watching